In honor of ECFA starting and Amber's challenge for Dance Games Everyday February, I want to look at one chart every weekday. I think it's good for me just to stay competitive, but I may as well share what I learn as I go. And I hope this at least helps people find new charts to play. Um, I'm going to do this until I either get sick of it or until I realize that nobody wants to hear me talk about step charts uh, four to five times a week. Uh, the chart I'm going to be looking at is Insane Techniques. Uh, just because I was playing this today and I realized there was a really dense amount of things in the beginning where it felt like things were either optional or you had lots of ways to do them. Um, so let's start here. That is the first one I'm going to look at. Let's look at it one more time. So what this pattern does is it starts off with a forced double step. So this note is on your left as well as this one. Um, so the real crazy part, no matter how you do it, this will always start on your right. Um, definitely don't try to do this as a crossover. This is intended to be double stepped. That's the first part. Um, I felt like there were two ways to do this. Um, both are perfectly acceptable. The way that I ended up doing it every single time was playing this as a jack. So this is on a right, these two on the left. Right, pretty straightforward. I don't know if this is intended, but another way that you could do this is doing foot switches into crossovers. So starting this on a right, left, right, foot switch here, um, and then when you play this right arrow, you can actually do it crossed over with the left foot. Um, and then what happens is if you continue doing this as a foot switch, um, this actually resolves back into facing forward. Two ways to do that. Um, I don't know how people are normally doing it, but just the jack option was more consistent for me. If you're not as good at uh, left-footed jacks, then you can definitely try the foot switch option. Although there, it requires a lot of control to kind of do that accurately. Uh, coming out of this, I feel like this is kind of like an optional bracket. Like, I don't think it really matters. I tend to do this as a jump, so left foot right. But if you wanted to, you could do a bracket here to this left, and then it's kind of like a double step like bracket. Um, the only other thing that tripped me up was that later on there's this spot that has kind of like this big open space. And the issue for me is that whenever I see open spaces like this, I end up resetting on the center panel. Um, and in that position, since the next note starts on down arrow, it could be ambiguous whether to play this um, starting on my left foot and then playing this as a foot switch or starting on my right foot and playing this as a jack. Um, the easiest way that I found out to do this is just to respect where the chart left you before. Right? So the last thing that happens is that the chart puts you on the left foot here and the right foot here. Um, if you just hold this position and can keep on moving through the chart, then you will successfully start this pattern here. Then you can play this as a foot switch left, right, left. Um, if you decide to reset into the center, then you have two options. You can either do it as a jack or as a foot switch. You just kind of have to know ahead of time which one you're going to do. That way you don't accidentally like try to do a foot switch and then start on the wrong foot because if you started on the right um, and then tried to do a foot switch, like you're going to have a bad time <laughs> trying to hit this left over with your right foot because that is definitely not a crossover. That's all I got. Um, a lot of fun stuff at the beginning of this, just from kind of the, the liberties of how you decide you want to approach the beginning of this. If there's any other charts that are giving you guys problems, I would love to take a look at it, especially if it's something that I've never looked at before. So, yeah, thanks.